Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days. Coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California, we're doing it again. We're going to be doing some rusting, some weathering, some natural tones on gas gold and i'm using some secret weapon miniature technique here i've got that soft body black wash an old school favorite of mine i've got that rubber from their weathering line and old mud these are some of my favorite colors we're going to kind of make a nice little dirty kind of engine grime color combining all these colors together is a bit of a rust feeling to it a little bit of a dirt feel to it Gonna throw a little bit more of the soft body black in the mix. That's a good color, but it needs to be a little darker for this technique we're going to deploy. This is a fun technique for interacting with a true metallic and getting some nice controlled grime effects. We're not talking like a chipping effect. We're talking like we're gonna put the paint where we want. We're gonna be leaning on some techniques like maybe like a slight glazing, juicing technique. But mostly what we're trying to do is use thin paint and put the paint where we want using dabbing motions to kind of manipulate it. This is Gasgol's backpack. Recently on Twitch, we've begun painting them. We actually took the route of using a metallic workup and then cut in the rest of the panels. I left the backpack off for this purpose. Now you can see what I'm doing is just dabbing our rusty mud engine gram color in around some of these pieces. There's nuts, there's bolts. There's like splits where the pipes are connected. We're kind of focusing on those areas. Maybe we're two pieces of metal butt up against each other. That's a good place that some ground would fill that little that little uh, crevice there, you know, like that little uh, ledge. We're going to trace some of the shadows, take some liberties to darken some crevices. But we are working kind of thin, you know, feel empowered to go kind of hard. Maybe reach for some water if you feel like you laid too, too much down and thin it down and just... Keep manipulating it. Now we're gonna grab some pure soft body black. Love this wash as an old school formula. And we're gonna use it to basically control wash, pin wash, these panel lines, these bolts, maybe some of the areas that we just hit with the mud color, with our grime color, just reinforce, adding a second layer of delineation and double downing on how dark the shadows actually are. We're not going crazy. We're not just deploying a wash all hyphy. We are trying to stay in control. While that's sitting there, we're gonna quickly grab some Buster Orange from Secret Web Miniatures. And a lot of what we just laid down is still wet, okay? So I'm gonna grab this orange. I'm not even gonna thin it down. I'm just gonna jam it into the areas that the engine grime and the soft body black are still wet in. And we're gonna let it mingle with that grime and black. And we're gonna just kind of feather it out taper it out it's going to be kind of aggressive right where the two pieces of metal are connected and then we're going to kind of taper it out and since it's wet in there it's going to swirl together with all those colors take on some qualities really give us a nice interesting effect and then you could always go back and up the opacity on the actual orange but i've been using buster orange for a lot of my rust effects lately it's a solid color shout out to secret web miniatures you see now some of these doodads where two pieces of metal uh, are touching. I'm going to just throw a little bit more righteous amount of rust there. Kind of just keep the eye guessing on what is going on here. I don't want all of this uh, weathering effect to be like the same exact look. I want some areas to be a little bit more aggressive, some to be a little lighter. And I really, I don't have a, you know, a plan. I'm just going with my heart, playing around with it, upping it as I go, feathering it out staying loose, having a fun little art day, using these colors and these techniques. Try not to go too overboard here. We want a lot of that true metallic to stay intact that we already did with our airbrush and some wash technique and some dry brush technique. Now we're just adding to it. And I love the combination of this engine grime effect, the black and the bust of orange. We're getting a solid, solid effect. Now there's other doodads on here we're gonna have to paint throughout this process. Uh, and I will show you some of that here. But for now, we're just going to keep upping the ante on the rust. Try to make the point where it is the brightest, where those two pieces of metal are joined, like I discussed. Look, real quick, we're going to grab some rich gold. This is from Pro Acrylic. Manya Mahabis and Creature Caster. We're going to just throw some down here real quick. And what I'm going to do is paint some of these pipes. I'm going to actually grab our engine grime effect we created. Mix it in with the gold to kind of shift it and use that and paint some of these uh, uh, doodads 
don't know what that is. Muffler grill? Fuck, man, I don't know. We're going to hit that up real quick. Make it a nice, dirty, kind of bronzy gold. Give us some orc love. Maybe some other random doodads and knickknacks on this backpack. We'll hit it with the gold as well. There's other little things hanging down that will shift to a red at some point. Uh, he's got this little gas can. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know orc tech, techiology. Like I'm not. I'm not familiar with what this is. I'm not a. I'm not a scientist. Okay, so I'm feeling it. Let's grab this the uh, soft body black and let's wash these gold elements. We're just going kind of splotchy on purpose, hitting it kind of aggressive, moving it around. We're letting it be kind of dirty versus trying to be ultra smooth with it. We want there to be a bit of a blotchy feeling. We're going to hit that uh, ball. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it might be a fuel canister of some type. Lash to it. Now you'll notice I did start painting red on some of the knickknacks, like suspended, like the glyphs and stuff. That's just whatever, any any color would do. But we're going to go back to the bus to brown, and we're going to up the opacity now that it's dried, our grime is dried, our, our subdued rusts have dried, and we're just going to go on very deliberately with the point of our brush and kind of stipple in some nice opaque orange, kind of just classily. You know, like we're just going to pick some areas, drop a little bit off, really upgrade it, give ourselves another layer, like some fresher rust chilling on top. I don't really have a rhyme or reason. I just go from the heart. I don't look at pictures or anything. I just play with it. You know, I'm just using my brain. Same deal. Now we're going to go and grab some of that, uh, like red we laid out earlier. It was like Comet Red. I have some on the canvas. And we're just going to mix some red straight in with our uh, engine rust color, our engine grime. So it's kind of a purple now because we introduced that red. And we're just going to quickly and lightly introduce it to the tips of these exhaust ports, okay? We're going to stay moving and grab a dark purple and a nice bright blue. We're going to do a bit of exhaust blue in here, keeping it loose, kind of like an in-between wet blend and a glaze. The cool thing about doing some orc weathering is you can kind of break a lot of rules. So this is like semi-dry. We're just going to take some more thin... Uh, dark purple and we're gonna just lightly blend it in to this kind of fucked up engine grind purple we made and to feel free to grab water thin it down let's let it let it be transparent so some of the uh, metallic effects can show through it uh, even if it's sort of halfway dry and you might peel it up again who cares go for it it's it's orc you know and we're gonna move really quick introduce some blue to the tips there's like a sky blue and the thing is, is when you're trying to do this over wet paint, the opacity will, will be difficult to achieve because there's so much moisture there and it's going to want to disperse what you're laying down with a pigment. So get it, you know, reasonable looking. Then you let it dry for a second. Up the opacity if you want. But we're trying to keep it a little bit more muted than like our normal like, hot rod effect. I want it to be popping. I want it to look cool. But I'm trying to keep it in the same spectrum as everything else. A little bit more muted. You know, I do have a habit of going over the top sometimes. But we'll try to keep Gasgo happy with all of his gear. I want the metals to be a little bit more natural. A little bit more aggressive uh, for uh, his reds and his checker patterns and stuff. But here he is. We kind of threw the backpack on him. This is actually the whip from our last Twitch video. We're going to be doing him live on Twitch until he's done in the month of April. Play on, players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.